The MD-22, also known as Mingdi-22, is a hypersonic unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, developed by China's CAS Institute of Mechanics and the Guangdong Aerodynamic Research Academy, GARA. It serves as a near-space hypersonic technology demonstrator and test platform, reflecting China's advancements in hypersonic technology. Key features Maximum speed, Mach 7, approximately 8,645 km per hour or 5,372 miles per hour. Range, 8,000 km, 5,000 miles. G limits, up to 6 G. Development and testing. The MD-22 was first unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show in 2022, showcasing China's progress in hypersonic vehicle development. It is designed to operate at near-space altitudes, achieving speeds up to Mach 7, and can be launched via a specialized Xi'an H-6 mothership. In December 2024, reports indicated successful test flights of the MD-19, a scaled-down version of the MD-22. These tests involved launches from platforms like the TB-001 drone and high-altitude balloons, demonstrating China's capabilities in deploying hypersonic vehicles from various aerial platforms. Strategic Implications The MD-22's capabilities suggest potential applications in long-range strike missions, given its intercontinental range and high-speed performance. Its development aligns with China's broader efforts to enhance its strategic deterrence and rapid global strike capabilities. The MD-22 complements traditional platforms, contributing to a diversified and unpredictable strategic deterrence posture. What do Chinese say? Chinese say that China's Ming Di-22 flight was a success, and the domestic pillow engine became the focus. As the saying goes, Chang'an flies under the falling leaves in the west wind. The meaning of the phrase Ming Di is actually that in the season when the west wind blows and the leaves are flying, the sound of flying arrows can be heard over Chang'an city. But if this scene is reflected in reality, then the Ming Di-22 aircraft independently developed by China can perfectly interpret this sentence. Chinese believe that many Chinese people have recently seen a video on the internet. In this video, you can clearly see that a wide aircraft has carried out several sets of flight tests with the support of the detonation engine. According to the analysis of our military experts, the wide aircraft tested this time is likely to be the Ming Di-22 aircraft that our country has previously disclosed to the public. The overall length of this aircraft is about 10.8 meters, the width is 4.5 meters, the weight is 1 ton, and the maximum takeoff weight is about 4 tons. With the support of the detonation engine, the maximum flight speed of the Ming Whistle No. 22 aircraft is Mach 7, which is equivalent to flying 2 kilometers in just 1 second, and this speed basically allows the Ming Whistle No. 22 aircraft to have the ability to fly in near space. It is not difficult to see from this that the Ming Whistle No. 22 aircraft is very powerful. In addition, according to public information, the maximum load factor of the Ming Whistle No. 22 aircraft is 15%, which means that this type of aircraft has the ability to carry weapons. And with a range of 8,000 kilometers, the Ming No. 22 aircraft can strike the entire North America in just 40 minutes. In fact, as far as the Ming No. 22 aircraft is concerned, the aircraft is essentially a hypersonic weapon platform. Because this aircraft adopts an aerodynamic layout of a Scorpion fuselage, delta wings and inclined double vertical tails, and a landing gear is also configured under the nose. In this way, after the Ming Whistle No. 22 aircraft completes the strike mission, the aircraft can also have the ability to return autonomously. Compared with the Ming Whistle No. 19 aircraft tested in China, this aircraft was launched with the assistance of a large double-tail drone, the purpose of which was to give the aircraft sufficient height and speed during the test. On the other hand, the Whistle 22 aircraft did not use drones as carriers during the test flight, but relied on the powerful thrust of the pillow engine to make the Whistle 22 aircraft have a flight speed of 7 Mach during the flight. As for how fast the flight speed of 7 Mach is, in simple terms, the strongest anti-missile interception system in service in the world cannot capture the shadow of the Whistle 22 aircraft. In particular, 
This aircraft has broken through the conventional physical limits of the atmosphere and can easily get rid of the interception or tracking of the traditional anti-missile system in the world. The most important thing is that once the Whistle 22 is launched, it will use Chen Shuesen's ballistic flight technology in the future. Then this new type of wide space aircraft in China will become the Sword of Damocles hanging over the heads of the West. It is worth mentioning that according to Western military experts, once China's Whistle 22 takes off and joins combat duty in the future, this near space wide space aircraft will be able to completely change the form of future wars. Because the Lindy 22 aircraft can ignore enemy interception with the blessing of hypersonic speed, and the Zero Enemy 22 aircraft can re enter the atmosphere for the second time after completing the strike mission and return to the ground runway in a horizontal landing. Therefore, China's wide aircraft will undoubtedly become an alternative existence that dominates the air and space battlefield for future wars. The wide aircraft of the Mingdi series in China was developed by the Chen Shuisen Science and Technology Research Youth Commando. Therefore, it can be seen from here. China's major military technologies have entered the fast lane of development. In fact, during this period at the end of the year, Shunfei and Chengfei successively tested two sixth-generation aircraft, and the Air Police and 3000 Early Warning aircraft also came out. And the H-20 strategic bomber has also completed its maiden flight with a high probability. Now the Mingdi-22 aircraft has also completed a series of test flights with the assistance of the pillow engine. So this further proves that China's military attack has been ahead of Western countries in related core technologies for decades. Once these new equipment joins the Air Force combat duty in the future, then China may have caught up with the United States in the construction of the aviation field, Chinese said.